to What's Right with the World with your host, Glenn Ambrose. And welcome to the show, everybody. <laughs> nice. Here we are. What's right with the world? So today, it's, it's kind of neat. A, um, a childhood friend of mine posted this on Facebook. And I saw it and I was like, wow, that's kind of interesting. So, so uh, childhood friends are neat, aren't they? I love childhood I don't, friends. I don't, I don't know. I don't have any. You're full of crap. Nope. So, I got so you know, it's just somebody, there's something special about knowing it, that you knew somebody, you know, all growing up through high school and stuff. It's cool. So, but anyway, my friend Sonia um, shared this and I thought it was a really interesting topic of, of um, well, I'll, I'll let Ben explain it. So, so go for it, Ben. Okay. So, <laughs> so this is a little different um, because we don't have an article to go off of um, be, because this is from uh, the Facebook group and the Instagram group. We need this. Um, and uh, it is a video about a company in New Zealand that turns beer bottles into sand. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I was so like- we're going to share the link to this in the description, but it is, it is this awesome video that Glenn sent me that they take beer bottles and they have what looks like a large vending machine. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, basically you put the beer bottles in and it compresses them and just obliterates them. It grinds them up. It grinds them up and it takes the sand from the beer bottle into one direction and, and everything else from the beer bottle and puts it in the other direction. And uh, what you come up with is this sand that people literally, if you hold it in your hand, you can't tell the difference. What is sand and what is this recycled material? And um, in New Zealand, they're using it to repopulate their beaches. Right. Because the beaches through erosion and other things are, are shrinking all over the world. So, so this, and, and I mean, it's, I don't know all the physics of it, but, but I mean, glass is made from sand. So basically they're just taking the glass and making it back into sand, you know, right. by grinding it back up. So it's, you know, that's, that's the whole mentality of it, which is, I, I, <laughs> I find it really cool. You know, I, I find it cool that they can just one, just do that. And then two separate the, you know, the, the labels and what the silicon, whatever the heck else is in it, that, that they can separate that, which is cool. And, you know, then, then all of a sudden you're like, okay, well, that, you know, that's really neat, but of what service is this? And it's like, well, if we took all the beer bottles, <laughs> you know, or a lot of them and actually had something to do with them, you know, and turn to, to fill back up the beaches. I mean, that's neat to me anyway. I don't know. Maybe people think I'm crazy, which is cool. But I just found that uh, such a daily, I mean, there's beer bottles everywhere, you know, and to, to actually have a purpose for, for them to, to be able to grind them up and, and actually help the beaches, I think is phenomenal. Definitely. So this is a, I found an article from geek.com for this. Hmm. Um, DB breweries drink beer, save the environment. That's the rallying cry of DB breweries, a New Zealand based company um, helping to combat the global sand shortage. The firm as reported by Adweek, built a fleet of machines that crush empty glass bottles into sand substitute used to save the nation's pristine beaches. Sand is used in everything from construction to pharmaceuticals and um, you know, a major ingredient in uh, mortar, plaster, concrete, and asphalt. Businesses often collect beach sand in bulk. As a result, according to DB, two-thirds of the world's beaches are retreating. Amazingly, there is an answer to the sand shortage, and it could be to drink beer. <laughs> uh, the company said in a promotional video, the machines likely for use in bars and restaurants across the island recycle empties right before your drunken eyes push the container through a bottle-shaped hole, then watch as the vacuum system removes silica dust and plastic labels, leaving behind pure glass sand. 
Each bottle produces 200 grams of powder substitute in about five seconds. It's, it's, a, it's an amazing machine. And if this thing could go, you know, all over the place, and if you could take that technology and, and mass produce it. So, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. So all of these uh, recycling plants and junkyards could then send their glass bottles to a big facility that did this. That would be right. Huge. That could be huge. Yeah, or or just had a section of their facility that did it. Yeah. You know? So I mean, yeah, it's it's this is the this is the first step. We'll see if it turns into something, you know, that that's feasible to do on a regular basis or not. But I mean, hey, I th- I thought it was I thought it was just such a I, I think it, it's you know, nature. It's got a nature aspect to it. So it's helping our, our beaches. Okay, cool. I like that. You know, and then it's got the the aspect of just taking something like an old beer bottle. I mean, how many art projects can you create with a beer bottle? I mean, I'm sure that there's some, but I mean, after a while, you're not going to decorate your whole house with an art project with your beer bottles. So, right. I mean, really, what are you, you going to do with these things? You know, so and send them back, send them back from whence they came. Yes, yeah, and that and that's the that's the other twist. You know, so you've got a, a you know what? Well, not day to day thing for me because I don't drink. But I mean, <laughs> you know, the beer bottles are everywhere. There's tons of beer bottles around. So that's an everyday occurrence in society that there's beer bottles. And there are other glass bottles. I mean, if you can do this with True. beer bottles, you can do this with glass. And, Actually, I forgot that, but I, um, when I first read the story, I thought of the same thing. Like, there's a lot of um, sodas and teas and and all kinds of things are they're really getting creative with the bottles that they make now. Yeah. So there's lots of different bottles that you can do this with. So to take something that we have so much of on just a, a regular basis and help nature with it. And then you throw in the piece of the technology that you can even do it. That's cool. And then it's like what you just said. It's, you know, turn it from whence it came. You know, you, you take, take sand and you make glass. Well, then you take the glass and turn it back into sand. That's a neat. So, I mean, all the little aspects of that. I thought it was just such a unique story and such a, uh, such a cool thing to, to expand our minds and know what's possible. Yeah, and I loved it because it was a what's right with the world that I didn't need to find. Which, yes, which is beneficial too. So yeah. thank you, Sonia, for sharing that on Facebook. And Thank you. And if and if any other of Glenn's childhood friends have things that we should you know, put on what's right with the world, please send them. Or if any of you that are listening or watching do as well, uh, what's right with the world, uh, the Great Love Project on Facebook, Glenn Ambrose Life Coaching on Facebook. If you need more information about Glenn, check out glennambrose.com. And if you want to support the show, watch videos of the show, watch behind the scene videos of Glenn being a goof, um, <laughs> check, out, check out and support the show at patreon.com slash Glenn Ambrose. And uh, that's and it. If and you, if you want to get famous and be mentioned on a international podcast, then you just give us some ideas for either life lessons and laughter or what's right with the world yeah. and get mentioned on there. So, you know, I'm posting this on Sonia's Facebook page. So keep your eyes open, Sonia. Definitely. <laughs> I'll, Definitely. I'll be posting. Uh, posting so, on her, on so her. this has been a marathon recording day for Glenn and I, uh, <laughs> we did a bunch of what's right with the world. a couple of life lessons and laughter. You'll never know because I changed my shirt a bunch of times. Yes, but if you pay attention to my shirt, you'll you'll be able to figure it out. So that's the scavenger hunt that we're going to send you on now. Absolutely. I really think that that might still I think that that might be the same shirt that you wore last time we recorded too. It could be. I can't keep track of what shirt I wore Cuz it goes so, cuz it goes so well with the with the painting behind you or the artwork oh. behind you. If you want to know what we're talking about, and you want to see Faith, Glenn's dog, walking around in the background, uh, <laughs> you know, check out our Patreon page. So, yeah. uh, all right. Thanks, Glenn. Yeah. Thanks for listening, everybody. We'll talk at you soon. Glenn is available for life coaching sessions. To book an appointment or for more information, go to glennambrose.com 
Follow him on Facebook and Twitter, or click the link in the description of this episode.